the light of the soul of the Israeli person is shining from inner depths that cannot be searched with knowledge or science or any kind of intelligence. For that, faith was given to us by our Maker. And faith is compared to the light of the moon. The moon, even though, is a star that shines and delivers a great amount of light, it exists and appears mainly or only at night means that it's the small sun, it's the small source of light that shines in the dark but reveals truth that cannot be seen at the daytime when the greater sun or the greater light is shining. At the daytime when people imagine to themselves that they can see better than at night even though that they can see better in close range for long distance they're almost blind compared to times of darkness and nights at night you can see the stars and during the day you cannot see them because you're blinded by the light. At night, when the moon is shining its own light, he is providing an amount of light that is accurate, that is completely balanced, and allows us to find our way in the dark while giving us the ability to look so far into infinity and beyond. Our eyes at night can see and watch and recognize and grasp the infinity itself by watching up to the sky. During the day are the hours that compared to the wisdom of the person while he is counting on his own knowledge. During the day you're counting on the light, you're counting on your eyes, you're counting on things that are familiar to you, that you feel that you can count on because you imagine that you can recognize them and that they will not betray you. While at night your senses your inner senses are awake because you're not so sure and you're not so confident and you're counting on Hashem you're counting on your senses you are allowing yourself to count on your faith and this is why the moon compared to the faith because the faith is in the nights and the moon is humble like the faith. The faithful person is humble because he believes that everything that he has is a free gift from the Maker. Also the moon is aware to the fact that she itself is not the source of its own light. Just that she is a messenger who delivers light that she receives from the Sun from an upper source she is receiving light and she is aware that her kingship depends in a higher kingship above her. This is the faithful person. Even though that he can be the king, he is a king who is aware fully to the fact that he does not have no power of his own and all his kingship depends in the heavens kingship that is above him the king of israel like king david 
and all the kosher kings we ever had, all the kosher leaders we ever had, the righteous ones, were only praiseworthy for that fact that they were crowning Hashem, the maker of the universe, in every step they made during their lifetimes. We should connect ourselves to that aspect of our lives, to be faithful, to remember that we are receiving our lives from above, from the Maker. Not on the bread alone the person will live, the verse is saying, means that the person's life does not depend on the food that he is eating. Even though we are receiving sparks of life and energy from the food, even though we're making money because we're working, we are refreshing our minds and renewing our brain and power of our bodies by going to sleep. But we know that the Maker Himself, He is the one to provide all those things if we're working and if not, if we're eating and if we're not. The Maker works in a mysterious way behind the scenes, behind the curtains of illusion, curtains of creation that are filtering the endless light of our Maker into colors, into shapes, into forms, into sizes, into qualities and quantities, only for one benefit, for us to be able to grasp the light because when the light is too strong, it's blinding us and blocking our ability to see. That's why we need the darkness. Because the darkness creates a certain balance between darkness and light that allows us to see for long distance. We can see infinity, we can see the stars, but for that we need to be faithful we need to express our faith in our mouths, in prayers, and to talk with the Maker of the Universe, Hashem, and to tell Him, it's hard for me to see you, but let me count on you. It, hard, it is hard for me to sense, to understand you, but let me give my heart to you and let you lead me in my life. Those will be the prayers of the faithful ones that will choose to follow their inner truth, their inner understanding of the true existence of our Maker in our lives, that He is the one who made the world live and exist. He is the one that is maintaining our lives. He is the one that is allowing us to see Him, to believe in Him and in Him we trust, and in Him we are following, and will never stop, with all our loved ones, always. Amen.